Good morning and welcome to Devotions with Dr. Sue as we keep watch at the gate. We're starting to look at something that's really exciting. And as I was reading this passage of scripture, I was saying, this is so familiar, but yeah, I was excited about what was going on in this passage of scripture. We're going to be talking about the road to freedom, the road to freedom. And many times we are in bondage or we are chained up by various situations and we want to see how God is helping us to get on the road to freedom. Acts chapter 12, reading from verse 6 says this, The night before Peter was to be placed on trial, he was asleep, fastened with two chains between two soldiers. Others stood guard at the prison gate. Suddenly, there was a bright light in the cell and an angel of the Lord stood before Peter. The angel struck him on the side to awaken him and said, quick, get up, and the chains fell off. I'm gonna stop there because the whole passage is so exciting. But here is what I want to say to us. I want us for a moment to just pause and ask ourselves, if I had to identify two chains that have me bound, what would those two chains be? What are those two chains? There's so many options. There's pride, there's unforgiveness, there's hatred, there's anger. There's so many things, but I want you to identify for yourself. What would be the two things that I can say have me fastened with chains? In this scenario, Peter is chained by something else. So someone else has placed him in chains. Sometimes that's our situation too. A circumstance has happened and we have been placed in a place of chains. But I am here to say to us this morning that even though we have been placed in chains or if we ourselves have bound ourselves by these two chains that there is something phenomenal about to happen the bible says that a bright light came into the cell oh thank you jesus god is saying to us that he is about to shine his light directly into our spirit so that we could see so that there's no fuzziness there's no confusion we can exactly see what those chains are because he is about to do something special to get you on that road to freedom the Bible says that the angel struck him. You don't only want a visitation. You don't only want to be able to allow the light to shine in, but you want personal contact with Holy Spirit. Oh, I'm excited. He says the angel struck him and gave a command. He awakened him. Some of us have been in chains so long that we are sleeping. We don't even recognize that we are in bondage. But God is saying, get up, you get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. I want you to know that you are in a bondage and I'm about to do something special for you. I'm about to awaken you. I'm about to shake you out of that slumber. I'm about to cause you to see those chains break off of your life and begin you and, and start you, sorry, on that journey to freedom, on that road to freedom. Oh, hallelujah. I'm getting excited even now. So I want to speak into your spirit and I want to say to you, wives, stop, think, say, Holy Spirit, light of God, peer into my spirit, show me what is holding me bound so that I can receive the touch of your hand. I can be shaken out of that place of slumber and I can, with that shake, and, and, and I'm telling you, it says it's the angel struck him. Sometimes when God wants to get our attention, it's not a little pat pat. Sometimes it's a, uh, come on, I need you to know that you need to be free. So let's ask God to do that for us today. Father God, we know God that sometimes we are bound up by perspectives, by anger, by rage, by pride, by dishonesty, so many things, so many options. But as you shine your Holy Spirit in us, help us to see exactly what those chains are. We thank you 
God, that we are about to begin the journey because the chains are about to break off. Those chains are about to fall off of our minds, fall off of our hands, fall off of our thinking. Those chains are about to break and you are about to start us on that pathway, on that road to freedom. So God, we thank you for beginning the work in us as wise from today on. We are on our way to freedom and we did any devil to stop us from getting where we need to go. So God, we say thank you and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. So ladies, have a fantastic day. Remember, ask God, what are those chains? And then say, Holy Spirit, shine in me. Speak to me. Shake me out of my slumber and cause the chains to fall off. God bless you and have a fantastic week.